Okay, so you're going to need to work underneath the car to do this job. So we're going to get it up on wheel ramps like we've got right now and just make sure you follow all safety precautions and also block the rear wheels like I've got right now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is remove our serpentine belt. So I've already done a video on that, so I'm going to post that at the end of this video if you've never done it before, but it's pretty easy. So just follow my instructions. Okay, so what we got to do is, next, you got to move that serpentine belt out of the way and you got to get your power steering pump off here. There's going to be two bolts. And once you get those two bolts, then you're going to be able to access your variable valve timing filter screen. There it is right there. I'm moving my light to the, to the right of it, but that's it right there. You see it? It takes a six millimeter Allen wrench and uh, that's where your filter screen is going to be inside there. So, but again, that's at the, I'm at the back of the engine on the passenger side. When you go to remove the power steering pump, um, the bottom, the pulley is actually slotted. So the bottom bolt will, will slip out through um, any one of the slots on the pulley. However, the top bolt will not uh, slip out through the slots in the pulley. Again, there's a bottom bolt, it's a 14 millimeter, and there's a top bolt on the power steering pump. And the only way that I, I was just able to get the bottom bolt to break free, and the only way I was able to get at it was I put a 14 millimeter closed wrench uh, on, that, <clears throat> on that bottom bolt. I, I put a glove in my hand, I grab hold of that wrench, and I put my body <clears throat> um, like towards the front of the car so I could kind of like hang onto the bumper and then pull to get the leverage. I tried all different kinds of ways and that's, I finally was able to get it to break loose that way. So we'll get that one off and then uh, we'll see what's involved with taking the top bolt off. Okay, so this is the best shot that I can get. I got an open 14 millimeter wrench on the top bolt of the power steering pump. And that's the best that I can, that's the best that I can show from anywhere and I know it's not that I know it's not that good but that's all I can show you okay so the only way that I was able to get the top bolt off on that power steering pump is I had to climb on top of the car here and I've got a 14 millimeter uh, open end wrench and I uh, got it on the uh, bolt first um, by looking down through here with a flashlight. Then once I got the wrench on, then I climbed up on top here and I was able to get this thing to hear it break free. So at least I got it broke free. So I'll keep working on it and uh, we'll get that off next. And what I'm gonna do is I've got a coat hanger here and I'm gonna grab a hold of the shaft of the power steering pump. I'm gonna grab hold of that and pull up and I'm gonna tie it off and you gotta do you gotta do this because you gotta get that pump up out of the way so you can get to the filter screen bolt and the screen itself. Okay, so there it is. You can see it. Um, I told you earlier in the video it was gonna take a six millimeter Allen wrench. Uh, I was incorrect. It's an eight millimeter Allen wrench, uh, right hand thread, and I just broke it loose. So what I'm gonna do is before I take it all the way out, I'm gonna go ahead and get a rag, a big rag, and. Uh, put it underneath there and just let it catch what oil um, is going to come out of there and then I'll just throw the rag out. Okay so here it is. Now of course the bolt came out first and then I was able to just grab a hold of that right there and it came right out. Okay so there it is. A brand new variable valve timing filter screen. Okay so we've got everything put back together and everything's running fine. So I hope this helps somebody out there, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you, and have a great day. Bye for now.